Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to set up shipping informations for your products in your WooCommerce website in WordPress. First of all guys, I will need you to go to your WordPress dashboard by going to wordpress.com slash wp-admin or just go to your local host slash wp-admin as you can see in the URL section. After that, what I need you to do is go to here to plugins, add new and then search for WooCommerce. So type here W-O-O-C-O-M-M-E-R-C-E -E, and click on here to install it. After that, all you need to do is activate it and go to install plugins, active and search if it is over here. If it is there, that means that you are all good and set up. If not, go to inactive and check it again. So activate it once more. Now, when you finish all of these, Refresh the page and you will notice that there is some information or some menu that has been added to your main menu in the dashboard. Here you will find WooCommerce, product payments, analytics and marketing. Let's go to products and here guys let's create a new products. Here guys you put the name of the product, here the product description, you can e even add images in here. Here the product image, so the main image which will be looking something like this over here like that so these are like product image and this one is without an image now after that you add a category in here with some information about your product so here you'll put the price here you will put the inventory and finally here the shipping information so here you can put the weight of your product dimensions of it shipping class if it is virtual you will not have this so you don't need it if you have downloadable uh, you will you can have it so as you can see here in the shipping you can still have it so weight dimension and shipping class but overall in the normal case here you just put the weight dimension length width and height and you will be set up in the shipping information so guys that's how you can add shipping to your product so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next tutorial